Hello. 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 Good morning. Uh, good morning. I need. I don't know how to ask this, but I see a lot of prime real estate in the Austin area that is non-taxable due to the churches. Boy, that's okay. a good, um, excellent point. I am not religious either way, God or the devil. I don't believe in those. I'm okay. not sure what atheism is all about. But is there any legal way to associate my household with this organization or call with it our or, organization? Pardon me. With our organization? Yes, or just call it the Church of Satan and not have to pay taxes on it. Well, that brings up an excellent point. Uh, we believe in no supernatural, so we don't believe in the devil or God either one. So uh, as to having a church of Satanism, uh, we would have no input whatsoever and no, and I'm not going to answer any or legal questions. a church for that matter. I don't like that word. Okay, church, pastor, congregation, you can mix it up with uh, all kind of free thought groups if you like it, but it's still, the church is just the wrong word for it. Don't call it that. Okay. And, and, and what, you're, what you're talking about, I think, has been done by some people to, uh, to beat to beat taxes. You call yourself a church, structure, structure yourself like a church, and, and I, th I think some people have been successful in beating taxes. Is that the right way to go about it? Um, I, don't, I don't think so. I disagree. I think the right way to go about it is to tax all nonprofit or charitable groups the same way. Well, I agree with that, but you know, I'm just looking at fighting fire with fire. I want these prime real estate properties to be taxed so my taxes won't be as high. That's exactly what we want. Uh, you know, yeah. even it out and uh, let everybody pay the same, and, and that seems Very seems good. Fair. Well, I'll hang up and just listen to your program then. Thank, Thank you, you for much. calling. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent caller. Uh, we would not advocate anyone to uh, try to do anything illegal to avoid taxes, but uh, we, uh, other than, you know, go through the political process and be a good citizen, and vote for politicians that do agree with you on your point on taxes there. So, uh, does it look like we have another caller there? Oh, okay. I was going to say about the tax, he, sure. he raised a good point. A lot of groups do want to go ahead and try to do something like Church of Satan or Church of whatever to have an organization or a church uh, that is exempt from taxes. And uh, in answer to that, I would have to say honesty is the best policy. I mean, if it's your intention to try to skirt taxes to just to be able to do that for the novelty of it, that's not good. I mean, that's not something I would agree with at all. I mean, in any group in this country, for instance, there are a lot of nonprofit organizations that are trying to get things done. Okay. A lot of them will have very dishonest titles. You'll, you'll hear about a group that, that'll, that'll have a lofty sounding title that sounds all encompassing and innocent and then later on you find out it might be something else. Well, I really think this explains it all. Atheist, first word in the, in the title, tells you out of all honesty you won't get any, un, any ambiguous talk in the title of our organization because uh, honesty is the best policy, I think. Uh, and we, uh, we feel uh, the government's tax policies are, you know, bit out of line, they, they, the government spending is way out of line and everything else, but we are trying to uh, institute changes within the system. Uh, we do feel it's, uh, you know, the United States government is one of the best governments out there in the, in the world, and we are not trying to dethrone it or anything else, but work within the system. How do you feel, Don? Well, I love America. I spent uh, four years in the Navy. Uh, my father was a was a decorated veteran of World War II, and I like this country a lot. Yes. I feel very strongly about it. And one reason that I do is the amount of religious liberty that we have mm -hmm. in this country. It's, exactly. It's, it's very important, and we we have to defend it. It it will always be threatened, and we will always need to be vigilant about that. And I understand we have another color on the <laughs> line here. And color. <laughs> 